We need to solve the equation negative 14x plus 14 equals negative 20. I guess negative 14x means negative 14 times x. The solution to the equation is the value of x that makes negative 14 times x plus 14 equal to negative 20. In order to solve the equation for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation, and because the x term is on the left side of the equation, our solution will be in the form x equals some value, again, that makes the expression on the left side of the equation equal to negative 20. Looking more closely at the left side of the equation, again, because negative 14x means negative 14 times x, we need to undo this multiplication as well as undo this addition in order to isolate x on the left side of the equation and find the solution. And this is called a two-step equation. Whenever we have a two-step equation, the first step is always to undo the addition or subtraction in order to isolate the variable term, and the second step is to undo the multiplication or division in order to isolate the variable or solve for the variable. So the first step in this equation is to undo plus 14 by performing the opposite or inverse operation. So to undo 14, we will subtract 14 on both sides of the equation. So we'll subtract 14 on the left side of the equation and subtract 14 on the right side. Whatever operation we perform to one side of the equation, we must perform to the other in order to maintain equality. Now we'll simplify both sides of the equation. Looking at the left side of the equation, the minus 14 undoes the plus 14. This is also 14 minus 14, which simplifies to zero. So now on the left side of the equation, we just have the variable term at negative 14x equals, on the right side, we have negative 20 minus 14, which is the same as negative 20 plus negative 14, which equals negative 34. The second step is to undo the multiplication. In order to undo multiplying by negative 14, we need to perform the opposite or inverse operation, which means now we will divide both sides of the equation by negative 14. Dividing by negative 14 undoes multiplying by negative 14, and therefore the left side simplifies to just x. We can also think of this as negative 14 divided by negative 14, which is positive one, and one times x is x equals on the right side. Notice how we have a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. Let's first write this as a positive fraction as 34 fourteenths, which is our solution, but we need to express this fraction in simplest form. 34 and 14 are even, so they at least have a common factor of two. So let's create an equivalent fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by two. 34 divided by two is equal to 17. 14 divided by two is equal to seven. The only common factor between seven and 17 is one, and therefore we now have our solution as a fraction in simplest form. Our solution is 17 sevenths. Before we go though, let's check our work by substituting 17 sevenths for x in the original equation to make sure it does satisfy the equation. Performing the substitution, we would have negative 14 times 17 sevenths plus 14 equals negative 20. Let's use the calculator and verify the left side of the equation does equal negative 20. So we'll enter negative 14 times 17 sevenths plus 14 and notice how the left side of the equation is equal to negative 20, and therefore our solution is correct. We would have negative 20 equals negative 20, which is true, again verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.